Hey guys, it's Sarah and I have a very important message that I wanted to share with you today. So whenever there's big events that a lot of people are tuning into, so this might be presidential debates, award shows, or sports events, it creates a consciousness matrix over whatever that specific thing is about. So to explain a little bit more about that, I'm going to show you my example and why it's so important now for me to talk about this. So today is the Super Bowl in America, and I'm not a big sports person, I don't know much about it, but I do know that a lot of people watch it. I do know that a lot of people are going to be tuning in and watching one thing on the television throughout the entire world. So if we each individually have consciousnesses, individual consciousness, we're all expressions of consciousness, as a group, we also have a group or collective consciousness. When multiple people are attached to one thing or watching one thing or experiencing one thing, it creates a group consciousness around that specific thing. So for the Super Bowl, when millions and millions and millions of people are watching this one thing, it's creating a group consciousness. Before I go any further, I wanted to explain what sports are really about. So sports are about competition and separation, which is the most <clears throat> matrixy mindset that you could ever experience. Sports are a way for you to believe that there are two teams, that there's a winner, there's a loser, and that there's always competition. For you to believe that there's separation, for you to believe that <clears throat> there's two different countries or two different cities or two different teams, when in reality, we're, we're all one. There's no separation between any of us. So when you're watching these things and projecting your consciousness and focusing and tuning in to this channel or frequency, you're attaching to these thoughts of separation and competition. When millions and millions and millions of people are attaching themselves to the thoughts of separation and competition, that enforces separation and competition. That enforces things like wars because it, there's no difference between sports games and wars. It's just like you're kicking a ball or you're using more violent things. There's no difference. It's the same idea, mindset. There's two teams, only one can win. The other one's bad because like it's not you, but it actually is you. It's another expression of you. When you're feeding into this, when you're feeding into this separation and competition mindsets and consciousnesses, you're focusing in and putting your consciousness on separation. You're saying by watching this, by choosing, by using your free will to tune into this, you're choosing to say, I enforce like separation and competition, that you don't see oneness, that you don't see unity, but that might not be what we're trying to do right now on a collective level. You see, it creates this big mass consciousness that turns into a matrix around the entire freaking planet. When people are tuned in to this type of information, this type of frequency, it puts this matrix around the planet. And as we're raising our consciousness on the planet and trying to change what we've already done to the planet and to each other, one of like the worst things that we can do is enforce the separation again. We don't necessarily want to enforce separation because I'm not going to say good or bad, but it's not for our highest timeline and the highest greatest good of our individual selves as well as the entire collective. So I wanted to put out that message that when everyone's focusing on this one thing, it's putting energy and putting charge into those concepts. So I'm urging you to very I'm urging you to be very very conscious about what you watch what you put your energy towards, what you put your consciousness towards, because what you put your energy towards is what you're going to see manifested out in your reality. If you're watching things that are enforcing separation, you're always going to feel separate from others and you're always going to feel separate from source. Not only this, but I'm just going to say right now, a lot of shit happens behind the scenes when millions and millions of people are tuned into one thing. When people are tuned into one thing, it kind of gives other people in the background this ability to make change to the energy and frequency of the planet that is not necessarily the most beneficial for the highest and greatest good of all. 
there are elitists and there are people who are living right now who want to hold us back from this highest optimal timeline and they utilize events major media events that require mass consciousness to focus on to do all this stuff in the background so while you're watching tv think about okay what actually is happening in the background what could be happening when everybody's consciousness is focused on one thing that's taking consciousness away from thinking about health thinking about each other thinking about unity thinking about compassion they can siphon this this separation energy from the people watching this this program on the on the tv and it doesn't serve and i know a lot of people who will be attracted to this type of video probably don't watch this anyways but i would really love for you to open your mind up about this about not only this sports event but other things that you might watch not only this but i would really appreciate if you are able to kind of plant that seed in anybody who you are around that's watching this event. Like planting that seed in a way that it's not going against their free will, but allowing them to see beyond what they were able to see without you helping. Because it's not a coincidence that we're experiencing this palindrome day, that we're experiencing the 222 portal, that we're experiencing Imbolic all on the same day as the Super Bowl. Uh-uh, not a coincidence, that's all happening on purpose. And I believe that we have to create a bigger consciousness as lightworkers during this time. So during this time at night, meditate, focus on unity consciousness. Go into your meditation, ask your guides to bring you to the 13th dimension where there is only unity consciousness. Honestly, everywhere higher than the seventh dimension, it's group consciousness. So if you're able to meditate or astrally project anywhere higher than this dimension and realm right now, that is very, very beneficial on this day. If you're able to do anything that's focusing on unity, that's beautiful. And I don't know why, but I'm almost tearing up right now because I just feel so passionate about this and so passionate that it is our job and role as light workers and awakened ones to see what's happening in the world and change it. We are lucky enough and brave enough to see and perceive this reality for what it is. And I believe that now we need to hop into the matrix and change that energy there's these people who are going to be focused on separation so i encourage you all of you who are watching this video to focus on unity create that consciousness of unity away from separation because there's always going to be people who are still going to choose this path of separation that are still going to choose the third dimension it's not for everybody but you have no idea the impact of one person of one person plugging themselves out of watching this, tuning in, and focusing on unity consciousness. That has the ability, that one consciousness has such a strong and powerful impact because we are all one. We're all one. There is no separation. I'm talking to you, but I'm just talking to another version of myself. I'm not separate from you. I'm just another extension of you. I really hope this video shared important information that you needed to hear right now and I really hope you're able to apply this to your life today and all days where there is mass media events. Thank you.